What's up guys, you know who this is, Craig from Motor Bros. Ugh. So, we're gonna bring you some install videos on the Grom, there she is, woo! Absolutely beautiful. Um, no, I mean, that's it, let's just get into it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, you guys know what the deal is. Um, awesome content, we're gonna have awesome videos for you guys, come on, hit that subscribe button, get involved, send us questions, you know what the deal is. So, today, we're gonna install an aftermarket seat. If you don't, if these are the easy, these are the easy installs we're gonna run through first just to get them out of the way. If you can't install the seat, we've got problems. So we've, we've got a lot more problems we need to talk about. We're gonna do front brake pads and we're gonna do the rear spools in this video. So three easy, easy, easy things just to knock them out of the way. All right guys, um, very simple in install with the spools. We'll show you one side, you just repeat the process on the other side, it's very simple. You can loosen the axle if you do want to um, um, uh, have a little bit less tension on all of the items right here. You know, the plate and then the adjuster, the adjuster arm right there. So um, it's very basic. There's a 12 right there and a 10, and you just want to loosen that. So all you want to do is you just want to hold the 12 right there and just loosen the 10 off of it. It's very, very simple. And then just loosen the 12 as well, like that. As you can see, the plate just falls right on out there. Very, very simple. So pull those out of the way. There it is. So here, I'll just show you. So there's the plate, no big deal. And then there's the, the 12 and the 10. Very, you know, just very easy. Um, all right, so you get Whatever spools you have, they'll have a base plate or they'll already have the spools attached. But this, these are nice ones that come with, um, you know, they come with the base plate there. So you just want to put that in there. And if you haven't loosened the axle, there'll be a little bit of, a little bit of tension because nothing's really loose. But just put them in, make sure they're in and just tap them a little bit. No big deal. Be real gentle. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to mess anything up, but it's just... It just is that simple. There it is. Nice and flush. So what we are going to do is we are going to replace the 12 and the 10 right there with a lock nut. So I do want to replace those and um, just make it easier for myself to get it on and off. The only problem is, is getting these on and off with this um, type of spool you have to either use a long socket or a t-handle so it's no big deal but as you can see here's the lock there's the lock nut right there so it's just a very simple way to make sure that um, it does not come off and you don't have to um, have two nuts on the end of it so it's it's just very very simple so there it is put a little bit of power to it and that's it so your plate your base plates installed it's very simple um, if you do have the same spools as me you can uh, before you here are the here are the other um, pieces there's the spool and then obviously the uh, bolt and the spacer so put that sucker in there I am going to I'm going to use blue Loctite just blue Loctite a couple of these threads right here. I do not want, obviously I do not want this to come out. I want it to stay in there forever. Um, until I crash and need another one, you know, you know how it goes. So make sure, put that over, and there it is. So and that's it, give it a nice little and it really doesn't get any easier than that. It's ready to go. Just repeat the process on the other side. Um, the reason why we did replace these two is because we don't have to deal with them. Sometimes they can strip out and it's just easier when you have one nut on the end there and make sure it's a lock washer nut. You can also safety wire um, your spool to the swing arm, however you guys wanna do it. Um, with these, they do come with a uh, lock nut that goes on the bottom right there but if we ever get into trouble with racing or anything like that I don't want to have to go underneath here to loosen the nut I mean to loosen this yeah to loosen this little bolt 
and um, we might forget about it and yeah it's just it's a hassle so that's why we gone we've gone with one lock um, one lock knot right there and that's it it's just it's so simple you guys shouldn't have any problems with that just repeat the process for the other side and you've got your spools and it's good to go okay guys next install is the seat this is very simple I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it so it is just very easy all you need to do is put your key in very simple unlock pull you pull the stock seat off grab your new seat and slide it from a rear position it's very simple and that's it in it goes that's the easiest install you'll probably have on this motorcycle okay guys so we're gonna do the brake pads this is also another um, very easy install so you do want to loosen these two number 12s in order to remove the caliper off um, the other thing that you do want to do is you you do want to do this first so do this part first this is the clip that holds the pad in just loosen it you don't need to take it all the way out just loosen it because it can't be kind of tight so loosen it a little bit I'm not going to take it all the way out and then just remove these 12s right here so very 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 easy all right so now that you've removed that here comes the caliper off right there um, here's the pin that we loosened as you can see it holds the pads in place right there um, if you do want to make a mental note look at the pad that goes on the outside um, it has like a catch arm that goes around here and then um, the inner pad you and you know it's kind of hard to tell but there is a little arm that goes underneath um, this little plate right here so it's very simple there's nothing to it you can loosen this pin out all the way you can do it with your hand or however else you want to do it but this is the reason why you loosened it is because you don't want to have to loosen it while holding it it's, sometimes it can be very very tight and then you obviously you can hold your pads like that pull the pin out there it is very very simple and then the pads will just fall on out of there so it's a very easy install very easy uninstall app also so get your new pads just make sure you remember which one is which the smaller pad without without the like u arm on it goes on the inside it does have a little a little arm right there make sure you slide it and the little arm goes underneath and you know what you let me turn it so you can see it right there see the see watch that little arm so it goes all the way underneath right underneath that guy right there so i know you can see it there it is at the top hopefully i can get a better camera view for you guys so that's it hold it in and then it's just as simple as placing this guy in there as well so it's not that hard at all in fact you can slide both of them in at the same time they should just go right in no problem and that is it so take your pin make sure you put it in the way it came out you can't put it in the other way so not a big deal make sure the pin goes through the bottom of the pads like such there it is you might have to put a little bit of pressure on the pads as I'm doing right there with my thumb just pushing them in place um, you don't need to tighten this pin down but I do recommend you do it right away so you don't forget you don't want the last thing you want is this to back its way out and then you have no pads so you will notice that you can push the pads further apart with your fingers and they should be able to just slide right on there look at that very very simple so obviously you put your 12s back in there another very very easy install tighten them down and you are good to go don't forget to pump your front brake do not forget that the pads are away from the rotors if you go to brake and you didn't pump your front brakes you're not going to get braking until the last second and that's not a good thing so don't forget this pin right here do not forget to tighten it down so make sure it's nice and tight 
that is it guys there's nothing else pump your front brakes please do not forget to do that so that's it you know who this is it's craig with motor bros giving you some great videos make sure you subscribe very simple and we'll see you guys later